Hey, my toy friends. It's me, Gayla. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I'm not having such a wonderful week. It's actually midterms week for me. Um, I've got my little earbuds in, so I hope that you can hear me so I don't have to record this twice because I really don't have a lot of time. But someone had requested to see my foreign factory kids, so I wanted to come on and share all of my foreign factory kids. I just have a few, but they're very special to me. Um, because foreign factory kids do tend to cost a little bit more money. Sometimes you can find a bargain, which I will show you. Um, but if you purchase them outright, yes, they can be a pretty penny sometimes. Um, so if you didn't know, foreign factory kids are Cabbage Patch kids that were produced in factories. They were all made outside of the U.S., but what's considered foreign factory are not kids from um, Taiwan or China. Um, we're talking, let's see, so there is Jesmar from Spain, Sakuda from Japan, Lily Letty from Mexico, and um, Triange Pedigree from Africa. So those are the four. Now I think there was also a distributor for the UK but I can't remember the name. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry if I'm breathing heavily. I've got some sinus stuff going on. So my, um, my intake here is limited. Um, so let's see, who did I get first? Okay. My first ever foreign factory kid was this girl right here. And this is Ella Rubia. And she just recently got her name. Um, I had an afternoon where I spent most of the day just kind of resting and making bracelets for kids who whose names had came to me. I don't always name them immediately. I usually wait for a name to come to me. Um, and Ella Rubia was one of those, even though she had been with me for a while. Um, so a funny story about her is I bought her on Mercari. And then as we collectors tend to do, especially when you're a parent, Sometimes if you purchase something and it's a little bit expensive, you feel guilty for spending that money, which I did. Um, and I had some expenses come up and I had to sell her. And I was, I thought I was okay. Um, fortunately for me, my friend Holly, Dolls Toys More, she bought her. And um, I actually have an old video if you look back of when I got her, when I unboxed her. Um, but anyway, Holly purchased her and um, I had sold her for what I had paid for her so you know I didn't have a markup or anything like that but I was grateful that Holly did because later on I got to really missing her and I got to looking for another Jesmar like this uh, with this hair color that's called it's called champagne um, you can see it's got kind of a, a little bit of a pinky tone um, and that I really wanted that hair color. Uh, and I couldn't find one. And I told Holly, like, look, you can say no. But I have these other kids and I really miss her and I really want to get her back. If you're okay with it, would you want to do a trade? And I mean... I sent her a couple of kids so that the value would be the same. One of the kids I sent her was a head mold 17. They're, they tend to be kind of expensive. Um, and she agreed to it. So that was wonderful. And she even like took her for a photo shoot in California and took pictures and sent all of that to me. Um, and she even sent her back with one of the world traveler bags. And it was just really, really nice and really fortunate for me to have such a wonderful friend that would trade back with me instead of being like, no, you can pay me. Um, so we did that. We traded. She got the 17 and then, um, one, I think one other kid and an outfit. I honestly, I can't remember now, Holly, if you remember comment because I've already forgotten. My short term memory is garbage. Um, but yeah, she sent her back to me, and when she came back, I put her back in this outfit that I had made for her. Um, Grace B. Jones, who is in the um, 
Facebook group with me, Billy's, I think it's called Billy's Cabbage Corner now. Um, Miss Grace makes outfits, and this was one that I'd had made for her because I feel like the pink really brings out her hair. So I put her back in this, um, but I'm thinking about changing her outfit, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Um, but once she came back to me, that's when her name came to me. So Ella is um, two Spanish pronouns. There's L and La. And then also Rubia, which means blonde. I think Rubia is blonde. Um, when I was in high school, I took Spanish 1 and 2. And that's pretty much the extent of my Spanish. I'm sorry. So if I totally got that wrong, apologies. Um, but I remember like we had our Spanish names that we took on in the class. But there was this one girl who worked in the office, and she always had to bring memos to my teacher, Senora Miller. And her name in the class was La Rubia. That's what everybody called her. She wasn't in my class. She just popped in a lot being a kid that worked in the office. And she had the most gorgeous, gorgeous platinum blonde hair, and she was just beautiful. And for whatever reason, that memory stayed with me. So... I thought Ella Rubia. So that's her. She was my first. And then let's see. After that, I can't remember exactly who came first, but after that, I think was my half trained pedigree girl who still doesn't have a name, but that's okay. We'll come up with one for her. So I'm pretty sure that she has an okay factory head. I think I mentioned that in the video. I have a video about this girl too. Um, I saw her tag in her listing photos and I saw Triange Pedigree. I got super excited because it was like $24. Maybe? No, I think, I think another one was $24. I can't remember what she was, but it wasn't much at all. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am getting a steal of a deal. I was so excited. And then she came in and her head is not her head i'm pretty sure is an okay factory head because her head plug is glued in and that's something i've only run into with okay factory kids i remove the head plugs so that their heads drain when i clean them and the only ones that are glued in in my experience have been okay factory also she has the smaller eyes which is something that okay factory kids had instead of having the big eyes like the regular kids you can see they're much smaller and that's something that's not rare, I would say, but it's certainly more uncommon. So, we had to count her. We had to include her. Okay. Okay, so that means the next one I got was this girl. This is my Sakuda from Japan. And the thing that stuck out to me the most when I first got her was this stitching for her loops. See, most kids... It's just the loop coming out of the head, right? I thought that was so strange that she had like this row, this like seam, if you will, on the loops. So I don't know if that's something they all have, but that might be a good thing to look for. And the way I found these kids was just looking at every listing and zooming in on all the pictures, looking for those little details. Um, and her tag did say made in Japan. She, I think she's the one that was $24. Yeah, it says manufactured by Sakuda Original. So, I got very excited. It was her and one other doll on Mercari. It was a lot of two. And um, I just couldn't believe it. I was on pins and needles till she got here. And I didn't have any lemons. I still don't. I think she's still my only lemon. So, this um, hair color is called lemon, if you didn't know. And look how many rows of loops. Let's just compare. See, the regular kids have two. She has, I don't know, three or four. That's a lot. She got a lot of hair. Um, but the thing that's most most well known for Sakutas is having the um, butterflies painted in their eyes there. So yeah, I named her Goldeen. I don't know if you pronounce it Kira. Kiro. Kiro. I don't know. Um, but Goldeen is my favorite Pokemon, and she is a goldfish. And then Hiro, Hiro, however you say it, um, I looked up the Japanese word for yellow. So, just like 
Ella Rubia, we have Goldine Hero, Hiro, I don't know. Sorry. You know what? I have a little sister who took Japan, who went, took Japanese in high school, and she went on a trip to Japan. Um, I need to have her school me on that so I can be correct. Okay. And then, of course, we have my Triange pedigree that my friend Ashley, Vintage Whimsy, sent me. I just love her so much. I love her so much. Her blushing is just so perfect and her eyes are so sweet and I just love her hair I don't know I've seen I've seen triange pedigrees but this one is just so beautiful and so special to me I don't know she really is like the best one to me I feel like I have the best triange pedigree out there somebody could have a head mold 19 or a head mold 17 which I know they didn't make those in the foreign factories but Someone could have one of those rare head molds, and I would still think that mine is more beautiful. <laughs> and I guess that's what people do with their human children, too. Like, oh, mine's the best. Mine is the smartest, the most beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. I just love her. And a lot of people suggested that I name her Ashley after my friend that sent her to me. And I think that's what I'm going to do. But she's still going to need a middle name. And I don't know what that is yet. But it'll come. All their names come eventually. And then finally is the last one from the last factory that I needed. Um, okay, so I can't remember if I had already purchased this guy. And then Ashley sent me the Triange Pedigree. Because I remember saying in the video she was the last one I needed. So I think I had already purchased this guy and I just haven't shared him yet. Um, but... This is my Lily Letty, and he doesn't have a name yet, but I really wanted a Lily Letty with the pink tone hair, so I did break down and purchase him. He wasn't terribly expensive, but he was a little bit higher priced than most kids, um, and I put him, of course, in the pink teddy bear pajamas, which meant that my other um, shaggy boy that was wearing these got booted out of his outfit, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll find him something else. So, yeah. Lily Letty. So, just a few tips. If you're looking for foreign factory kids, just check every listing. Um, I had for a while Cabbage Patch Kids just saved as a saved search, and of course, hundreds and hundreds of them get listed on eBay and Mercari every day. But I would check every day all the new listings. I would zoom in on the tags. I'd zoom in on the heads. And I had gone online and saved pictures of what the tags looked like. And I had saved pictures of what the stamps on their heads looked like. Because the Foreign Factory kids are different. Um, and then I reached out to people that I knew. Like I knew Holly had a Sakuda. I knew Holly had a Lily Letty. I knew Holly had a Triange Pedigree. So I asked her if she would send me pictures of the backs of their heads and their tags so that I could save those so I would have something to compare when I was looking at listings. And I mean, it was an intensive process, but it paid off because I only paid regular price, which one of these was a gift. And I'm so, so grateful. Again, Ashley, I thank you so much. Um, such a wonderful gift. Um, but my Lily Letty and then um, my first Jesmart girl, I purchased those outright. Um, but still, I didn't pay more than $100 for either one. And I think that's a really great, really great price. Um, like I said, they can be expensive, but you can find bargains, you know. This girl right here, $24 for her and another kid. I mean, but you really have to look. You have to put in the work. And I mean, you can find them outright if you're cool with that and your budget allows for that. That's awesome. That's awesome. But I am a bargain shopper. I have three kids to feed, so I don't have the luxury of just being able to purchase them outright. If you do, that's great. I'm not shaming you at all. Good for you. But, you know, there's a lot of people out there like me. We're bargain hunters. We want those deals. Okay. One such bargain. I lied. This was, I, That wasn't my last kid. <laughs> it was this little Jesmar boy. I got him on eBay. And he didn't come in this outfit. He came in a sweater, like a baby sweater. Um, so I had to give him an outfit. But he was actually a shop, not shop Goodwill. That's their own website. But he was a Goodwill listing from a Goodwill somewhere else. And um, 
I saw his eyes, which let's compare here. Jasmore eyes are painted higher. They usually have like a little space down here. You can't count on Jasmore kids having freckles because not all Jasmore kids have freckles. See, Hella Rubia does not have freckles, but you can see how their eyes are kind of looking up and like goofy. And you can see there's like a gap underneath. So even if they're like leaned back, you can still see the better part of their eyes. Whereas the regular kids are not like that. And I know it doesn't seem that odd, but once you've like really looked at a bunch of them, when you're looking through hundreds of listings a day, it becomes more noticeable. Just trust me on that. Cause I used to see other people who got deals on Jesmars and I'd be like, how did they know? And once you've looked at enough of them, you'll, you'll get it. Trust me. But I saw these eyes and there weren't any pictures of the tag. I'm not sure if there were pictures of the back of his head. I think there were, but not his tag. It was either one or the other. It was $30. Nobody bid on him against me at all. I was like, why is nobody bidding on this? Because usually, at the very least, you'll get sniped at the end of the auction. But no, he has um, a red mark on his face. And I did do one round of the acne cream. And poor little guy, I forgot him. <laughs> and he got rained on. So after I cleaned him up from that, I didn't want to leave him outside anymore. So he can just have his red mark for now. I don't mind it. Um, actually, I used it to name him. I wanted to give him a Spanish name, but I ended up naming him Romeo because to me, it looked like somebody gave him a kiss on his cheek. Like maybe he worked at the kissing booth or something at the school carnival. I don't know. It looks like kiss marks to me. So I named him Romeo, but I was thinking what I said earlier about their outfits. Um, when I got Jessalyn, she was in the blue sailor dress. And then Holly had also, Holly sent me this outfit too a while back. Um, it's the little twin suit outfit. Um, Holly had sent me the white boy sailor outfit with the shorts. So I was thinking since I have two Jesmars now that I might dress them in the sailor outfits so that they can match. But for right now, they look like little Valentine's kids. So that's pretty cute. And I had this little knit hat on his head. Where'd it go? I think these are the hats that came with the teddy bear pajamas. But I thought it looked cute on him. I don't know, my little bald guy. I just wanted to keep his little head covered. It's been kind of cold in here. Um, we have a window unit for this room because it doesn't get as cool. This room is actually over the carport garage. Um, I put up my ice tickle there that I got. But you can see she's pink because we keep it so cold in here. So her, uh, when I got her, she was solid white. But ice tickle bears, when they get cold, they turn colors on their chest and their nose. So a little off topic, but oh well. Anyway. That's my Foreign Factory Kid collection. I don't think I'll be adding any more, but, you know, if I come across one, yeah, I'd definitely pick one up. Like, I already had a Jesmar, and then I saw this boy, and, like, I wasn't going to pass up such a good deal. And nobody was bidding on him. Nobody wanted him? What? That's crazy. Look at how cute he is. So never say never, because I... While I'm not actively looking for Foreign Factory kids anymore, I mean, if I came across one, a uh, yard sale or something, I would absolutely pick one up. Absolutely. And I don't know that I would part with it because they're really beautiful. Um, Holly pointed out that all the Foreign Factory kids tend to have more voluminous hair, and I do agree with that. Um, the Jesmars are hand-painted, and the Sakutas have the beautiful butterfly eyes. So, I mean, they're, they're quality. They really are, which the original Coleco cabbies are good, sturdy dolls. I mean, obviously, look how long they've held up. But anyway, let me know what you liked, what you thought. Do you have any foreign factory kids? Are you looking for any foreign factory kids? Let's talk about it all down in the comments, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Remember, the world is a better place because you're here in it, and you matter. Okay? I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week, and I'll see you soon in my next video.